Western Australia's northeastern grain belt, a medium to low rainfall zone where a two-year GRDC invested project led by the Liebe Group is helping growers to make informed decisions about more efficient micronutrient use on cereals in dry periods. A survey conducted by the Grower Driven Research Group indicated most grain growers believed they had potentially yield limiting micronutrient issues. So the survey was conducted in the 2018 season with uh, over 100 paddocks, so we had a total of 400 sample points uh, with 25 farm businesses from across the northern agricultural region, uh, and that included plant sample surveys that were conducted during the season on uh, a number of wheat crops. From the survey, uh, we found that most, or well, 90% of growers um, believe that they had issues with zinc and copper that were limiting their crop potential. However, the survey results from 2018 actually um, only indicated some levels of deficiencies within zinc. Do you think we can see anything visual on the leaves at the moment, Richard? Uh, for the micronutrients, we normally look for the, at the younger leaves. These look quite healthy. Dylan Hirsch is hosting the demonstration site and says he was part of the 90% assuming micronutrient deficiencies. I think it's fair to say that from our conversations with other growers is, is micronutrients um, are a complex subject and we're not as, as confident as what we'd like to be compared with other aspects of agronomy and it's something we're keen to, to better understand so we can allocate our resources better. Professor Richard Bell says severe deficiencies of the past are not so likely now given many growers are applying micronutrients but the Liebe Group survey indicates deficiencies are not completely absent either. There still is a percentage of crops that appear to be marginal or deficient, so there's still opportunities to uh, use plant testing and soil testing strategically to try and identify those sites where deficiencies might still exist. Over the last five years, um, we've started testing micronutrients in a few ways. Um, one is with our soil tests, which are indicative, um, give us indications of where soil micronutrients are at. But we've also started to look at uh, plant, um, plant testing to, to get a better idea about how our plants are, are taking those up. And they've um, given us a, a few sites where we've got some um, deficiencies with some of the micronutrients. So it's a balancing act. And the Richard says there's also value in thinking about seed grain analysis. Grain that has good micronutrient levels can be beneficial when sown onto soils that might have marginal levels. And there are a number of accredited labs offering grain analysis for nutrient concentration. Growers could then consult their advisors for an interpretation of the analysis. Foliar application can also be useful if you identify a deficiency during the season and that enables you to rescue part of the yield that might have been lost otherwise. The main message is that plant testing is the most effective tool that can be used to monitor micronutrient status in crops and to then work with an agronomist who's able to interpret that uh, information for you uh, to uh, arrive at a, a better uh, micronutrient fertiliser program. Dylan says for him, micronutrients are just part of the potential yield constraints and hopes this research will deliver a better understanding of nutrient management. We are certainly keen to look at the results of this project and we'll hopefully better allocate our resources with our monitoring of um, micronutrients in our, in our cereals because of it. There's a couple of tools we use on farm. One of them is the, um, we use agronomists on site to, to look at um, visual signs and visual symptoms of, of micronutrient and other deficiencies. The other one is GRDC has some really good um, guides on, on how, to, how to identify those um, particularly severe deficiencies that we use ourselves when we're inspecting the crop. It's also about keeping our costs down and making sure we're getting our bang for our buck where we're, where we're spending that buck. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.